The volume of air traffic has been on the up and up for many years now. Some analysts go as far as to forecast 16 billion passengers per year by 2050. Improving airspace management could generate savings of 5 billion euros per annum for the European Union. In practice, this means that very random approach phases and flying times cause congestion in Europe's airspace, and therefore much higher fuel consumption and CO2 emissions, more discomfort for passengers, additional workload for air traffic controllers, and higher costs for the airlines. This growth in traffic is a real challenge for the future of Europe's airspace that all the air transport chain's actors need to face. The way to surmount it is through CESAR, a research and development program set to overhaul Europe's air traffic control organization and infrastructure. CESAR comprises 70 private and public partners involved in 16 projects. To optimize, improve and harmonize trajectories. Planning airspace. Communication systems between ground and board, ATM information exchange, and airport management. This is the background behind the implementation of EPP that will predict aircraft movement more accurately. On demand, the EPP information will provide the aircraft's flyover time over all its trajectory points. This time-based forecast will be further consolidated on board by wind level and current performance data. Then this information will be shared with ground control to give the control centers precise and reliable data on when and where the aircraft will be. The ED228 and ED229 standards implemented by EuroK will be applied as a result of the first two I4D test flights analyzed during the CESAR-1 program. EPP data will now be tested in a real environment to gather data, confirm data accuracy and its use for ground-based systems, which is where Pegas comes in as part of CESAR 2020 to validate these data exchanges. In the future, controllers will know the exact position of the aircraft, the immediate trajectory and when to expect them in their sector. EPP data may lead to improved sky guide planning tool, traffic management and to better use of existing capacity. The new ADS-3 reports, including the APP, can help us to minimize the uncertainty around expert user preferences. This will allow to improve the accuracy of our ground trajectory predictors, enabling a more strategic management of flight. Planes will be able to share their data with the ground by using Datalink Exchange communication systems. Different data demands will be sent to the aircraft as dictated by the ATM's needs. The plane will then transmit this data to the ATM in real time via data link with no need for pilot intervention. EPP data can improve the accuracy of controller support tools, which can improve airspace capacity and enable more efficient flight profiles for our airline customers. Today, ATC Air Traffic Control works by predicting the flight path. The onboard FMS, the flight management system, follow a detailed plan. We hope that using the EPP, the extended projected profile on the ground, will allow us to improve predictions by incorporating the FMS plan. It is the Pegas Consortium that draws on aircraft manufacturers, Airbus, air navigation service providers, Eurocontrol, NATS and Skyguide, backed by information technology specialists that aims to validate EPP performance between ground control and the air. Eurocontrol connects to the aircraft and downlinks the information including the extended projected profile, the EPP. Then Eurocontrol redistributes this information on the ground to the Pegas partners, as well as recording it for further analysis and comparison with radar data and ground predictions. Pegas has shown that EPP data could enhance ATM ground tools. These encouraging results will need to be confirmed through a wider demonstration involving additional aircraft types and conventional flights. Thales will remain involved in the 4D trajectory concept validation in order to bring optimized benefits to ATC systems. To achieve this, the EPP data will be analyzed on the basis of some 50 real flights, which will lead to the validation of one of the I4D project elements. The number of expected benefits is high. Following the CESAR-1 phase, there will be demonstration phases from a prototype in a lifelike environment, Pegas, and trial phases and real configuration tests with certified ground and airborne instruments, VLD. The I4D system will be rolled out in 2020.